Yo, yo, Josh, yo. Today, we are doing three cinematic Hollywood-grade shots on the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I love to modify things. I love to make things look super cinematic. And I absolutely love to stretch my creativity. That's an ad. A few weeks ago, I did a sponsored DJI video with the Osmo Pocket Camera. To be honest with you, the shots turned out a lot better than I expected. So I actually used those shots in my client video. I was kind of blown away at how it cut seamlessly with my other expensive cameras. So let's watch that video now, and then I got the client video after showing exactly how I used those shots in the edit. So how can we get this little guy to perform some crazy awesome Hollywood shots? Now we all know the 4K60 on this thing is amazing, but the biggest takeaway is it's small, it's lightweight, and you have the ability to remote control the camera, the roll, the tilt, and the pan, all from your smartphone and it gets even more functional when you add cable extension. Suddenly, you now can control all functions of the camera all the way from back here. So if we were to mount this onto like a monopod or a boom pole or even a two by four, you can create your own jib or camera crane or techno crane. Techno crane. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. And now we're ready to go shoot some Hollywood grade stuff. Look at this freaking house. $56 million home in the heart of Beverly Hills. It's got an amazing staircase that's perfect for our first shot. So the way this works is as it's at the top position, I have the camera aimed down. As I move down, I slowly tip the camera up using the joystick on my iPhone. By pushing the body of the camera down while simultaneously tilting the camera angle up, you get a very expensive Hollywood look, similar to a camera crane shot. All right, what's next? Techno crane is a really good tool. Instead of craning down on objects, we telescope out and over or through objects. In this case, we're gonna go over the edge of the pool looking straight down, so it's gonna give us this bird eye view, almost like a drone shot. Ready? Here we go. What's dope about the techno crane shot is that you can grab shots that you wouldn't think is possible, like this weird parallax feeling of going through something. You can get crazy creative with this. What's next? This last little tip is super cool. It's actually a really fun transition called the Atlanta transition. So the idea is we're doing the exact same arc and motion for two shots. First, you'll wanna lock the camera gimbal on FPV mode. Next, find a few locations that have a natural starting and stopping edge for the camera to do its wipe from. Then try to make a semi-circular arc with the same speed and acceleration for all three locations. And we're gonna arc it down. Boom. Then we use the walls as an in point and an out point for each shot. And we can even speed ramp the shot to make it a little smoother. Wow, that was pretty rad, but I can already tell you we're not gonna be using the Atlanta transition for this video. It's a super stylized shot. It looks amazing for travel videos and for like maybe a swanky hotel, something that's catering to a younger audience. But for this listing, it's gonna be an older clientele. I don't wanna give them nausea, so we're gonna curb that one. But the other shots, keep in mind, this is built by the chief architect for the Getty Museum. It's a very high-end stylized building already. We just gotta give them the information without it being too distracting. But add a little bit to the video. Let's see how we did that. Do you have a philosophy of life, Mr. Getty?
I am so impressed with this thing. Those shots integrated seamlessly. I didn't feel taken out. I feel like it added something to the house. It added a coolness vibe. I couldn't tell. It wasn't like I shot it on a GoPro and then you're like, oh, this is obviously GoPro footage. It just, I, I stayed locked in the whole way through. I'm curious, what did you guys think? Did you stay in? Did you even notice the Osmo shots? If you didn't notice them, then it worked. But if it took you out, let me know. I wanna know in the comments. If you guys like this, you wanna know more real estate stuff, I have three more videos coming out covering just the real estate aspect on how I shot this house. This is Josh Yo saying thank you very much. Stay creative and go make some art.